Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's May the 19th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and um, I hadn't even really looked at the price action from yesterday, to be honest with you. It looked like you had a nice uptrend. Um, hopefully, y'all took advantage of it today. Not much happening today. There's a few decent trades, but it just wasn't a big day. We had this downtrend working down when I came in. Um... We, we tried to make a new low. We got a close outside here. We tried to make a new low, and we just couldn't. And we had this little weak channel working higher. Uh, we got a break here, an overshoot here. And uh, so there were a few longs here at the end of the day. But uh, it looked like we spent most of the morning in this. uh looked like we were going to spend the day in this little trading range. You can see the highs were along 21, 26 or so, and the lows around 21, 24. Uh, so just wasn't much hype. This it turns out this wasn't really a range. It was more of a weak uptrend. Um, but I treated it like a range on these first couple of trades here, uh, these first couple of longs. And but um, it was obvious later that this is a. I mean, we kind of confirmed it right here that it was a. You know we're working higher. You can see the the trend line off the first two swings. We confirmed it there. We did get a break this time. And then we basically got two legs up, and we've been trading down ever since. So, but just not a lot happening today. Uh, I'm going to move through this one fairly quickly. Uh, I know I missed yesterday, um, but I have a dentist appointment today, and I have to make it by three o'clock. So I'm going to try to squeeze this in now, so I don't have to come back to the office today. And uh, a lot of not, not a lot of trades anyway. Pretty straightforward. We had a trend working down. Um, you know, it's just. You could almost categorize this as a range day, uh, especially if we don't go any lower over the next. Looks like we've got about an hour left in the trading day. So um, unless we go lower here, uh, if we, we do start lower, if we get below these lows, you might look for a measured move similar to this. Uh, it's really too late in the day to be taking a trade, so it doesn't matter at this point. But sometimes you'll get some pretty nice moves if you're managing a um, runner or anything. Uh, you might consider that so uh, and there are some short-term swings in here that worked uh, I've already marked the first couple there's one working up here you had a break um, right here moved to a new high and then there's one working down right here a break moved to a new low and then there's another one working up through here like so and you really, um, you know, you just get an overshoot um, basically on this of the main channel and it couldn't go higher and it works down. So, but let me get through these trades real quickly and explain them to you what I saw and then we'll call it a day. So, um, but there was one trade. You had to be kind of patient this morning before you got some trades later in the morning. Um, and then really not much left, after, not much afternoon at all. Um, so, but there was a, a nice short right here. This is a breakout pull, pullback short. There's a failed second entry long. It really triggered here, but this is like a little two-legged pullback with a second entry short here. This was early this morning before seven, uh, and then we didn't just this didn't really happen at all until you had this little break. This is like a trading range. It's just a little con congestion area, and you have this break lower pullback. So it's like a little breakout pullback. But look at that big bearish reversal bar. Right off that trend line, that's a great setup right there. Just go short there, and this thing takes off. And so you could have ridden any runners down on this. Uh, then we had a little double attempt to go higher there. Notice this is a new swing high, so there's a first entry pullback. There's a second entry right there. So that was tempting to enter uh, right there. But at that point, I thought maybe the trend line was right here. I do believe it's down here. And here's another one of those gaps. I can't tell you how often I see that, and you know, uh, doesn't. You know, I don't want to get into that again. Not a big deal, but it's you know, there's a reason those prices do that there, and you'll often see that right over trend lines and things like that, uh, and strong support resistance areas. And but anyway, you got that new high, so this is the first entry. So that's a failed second entry long there. So you could have gone short there. I didn't mark it because we've already moved so far. But when we tried to go higher again, this is another little breakout pullback short. Um, and so uh, this gives you a little double trap. I don't think it fooled enough people there, but when it went higher and turned down again, 
Uh, I like that for a short, even though it's not even it's not really a great signal bar. Uh, I really like that for a short, and that gives you another push down. And again, runners, you could have ridden them lower. Um, and then we just kind of worked up here, and we got a break outside, and we're just kind of trucking along here. And you're looking for prices to try to make a retest. Uh, I was ready to go short right here, but notice no break lower, and then it went higher, and then it gives you this big reversal type bar. So that I like that one for a short. Uh, it basically made a double top here. It's really a one, two, three, quadruple top almost. Uh, nothing's closing up there, but that's a nice signal bar. And uh, another easy scalp, and then it got hung up again, and you realize, hey, there's some, resist there's some resistance up here, and there's support down here. And notice there's a first entry pullback, second entry. So that's a failed second entry short, bouncing off this low of what looks like maybe a trading range, what could be a trend line working up, and this kind of confirms it. So I like that one, thinking, uh, you know, hey, we'll at least come back up here and test these highs. So you might have thought about getting in this one with a limit order, but a lot of times you miss some of the best trades by trying to be too conservative so I like just using a stop there and just being leery of right here in case it doesn't move on through real quickly but it does and you don't even have to worry about it and then you pull back first entry pull back there's actually a second entry right there um, I didn't like going long right there because we we pushed through that trend line a little bit early in my opinion and I was still thinking along the lines, hey, you got to be wary, this might still be a trading range, and we just had a failed break out the top here, so I wasn't looking as closely at the trend line yet as I was the um, the the trading range right here, and we had a failed break out the top, so you got to be real careful here, you want to see it get through there, and maybe do a breakout pullback, so I didn't like going long there, but when it bounced right off of it, uh, after getting that big bull you know that looks like a failed second entry long and that probably fooled a lot of people but you got to be real you know cognizant of that strong support right there and you just can't go short right into that without you know without seeing it come go through first and come back and maybe do a breakout pullback type entry and uh, so if you got hung up short there that would be the only thing that you could have to say hey I can't go short there is that support but you definitely want to go long there when it bounces. And so another nice long. Uh, and so then I wasn't sure about the um, channel, but the fact that it still came into play these other times, you, you know, it comes back and confirms it for you. So you turn down right here. You can't go short right away. You got to get a second entry, and then you're like, Got all that hang up again. So just wait and see what happens. And you get another bounce off that low. And it went lower first and then turned and went higher. And that's a second entry long. So I like that for a long. Uh, it got kind of hung up here. So you could have gotten shaken out of that when you had to be real careful. Um, but then it gives you another little chance to get in right here. And I would have liked this better if it could have broke lower or something. But it didn't. And it just turns and goes up. Um, but you figure now we're probably heading back up to these highs and that's where it goes. And then there's only one other entry today and this one's kind of iffy. It's not a very good signal bar. Of course that could have closed on its low, but you got that overshoot and it kind of pulls back, but it's right into that EMA. And a lot of times you'll get some bounce and some resistance off that or support off of that. And so I was a little hesitant, but the, the, the thing I do like about it is it gives you a chance to get in at the highs of this range. Uh, or this channel knowing that you're probably going to at least work back to right here But we did have a break here and you got two legs up too. So there's always a chance that hey this thing reverses And so if you're still short right now, just remember Look for a possible measured move and there's still time for that to happen. I mean, you know, we only got to move Four or five more points to have a uh, measured move down and that's very possible and that's what you kind of would expect here and notice that this is probably a little bit more than maybe a 50% move back on this move down. And that's pretty common where your reversal will happen a lot of times. And so, um, you know, if you're still managing any runners, I wouldn't enter any new trades now. But if you're still managing any runners, that would be my likely target 
down here around 21, 1850 or so. And that's really it for today. Uh, there just weren't a lot of trades, not much movement today. Uh, I'm still looking at the 6,000 and the 6,500 chart. Uh, not a lot of difference in them today. They look very, very similar. I, I kind of ended up trading the 6,000 just because I liked the signal bar is a little bit better on it, uh, but tomorrow it could be the six. So there's not really much difference one way or the other with them. So, you know, pick one of them, pick the one you like, and you can kind of watch them both if you like uh, until you decide which one you want. But there's not much difference between that, either one of those, or even the 750 tick chart. You can see it. They're very similar. So um, I think you're fine trading either one of them. That's if you got CQG. Now, if you're still with one of the other uh, the other brokers, you can still trade the 2,000 tick. That's the only reason we're moving is because CQG changed the way they count the ticks and their data changed a little bit, so we had to improvise for that. But if you're trading one of the other brokers that hasn't changed their tick data yet, you know you're you're good going with staying with the 2,000 tick. So keep that in mind. But uh, anyway, that's about all I got time for tomorrow. Not much else you can say about this chart. It looks like it may end up just being a two legs down with a correction in the middle. We'll see. It'd be my likely target if prices continue lower down here around 21, 1850 or so. So we'll see how it goes. And um, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow. And we'll finish out this week. But I hope you had a good trading day today. I hope those of you traded yesterday had a good day, and it does look like y'all had a nice trend. Um, figures I could take a day off and uh, we get a nice trend like that. But hey, uh, you can't let that hold you back. We'll get another chance uh, to do it. You know, we'll get another one like that soon. And I noticed we did probably make a new high here, 2134, and we sold off of that pretty quickly. But we'll see if that, uh, you know, if we have another big correction before we go higher, or if maybe we worked on through 2100 now. And this market can start going higher again. So we'll just have to see. But, you know, overall, not a great trading day. Not a bad one either. I've seen worse days than this. There were a chance to get you two or three really good trades out of about five or six opportunities. One, two, three, four. Seven trades. That's not bad. Uh, I've seen it where there's only four or five in a whole day. So this is not a great day, but certainly could have been a lot worse. So, uh, but let's wrap it up. I'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.